So I did it for myself. I had no idea what uh, what a business plan was or why I would do it. And I didn't go to school for you know entrepreneurship. So uh, basically, I thought, hey, maybe I can put some slides together where I describe my plan, what I want to do, what the software does, how I'm going to sell it, how much it's going to cost, how much money I'm going to make, right? And just to tell you how clueless I was, I did this while I was you know watching TV. It did some like uh, revenue projections. I had to look up what revenue projection meant before I could do it. <laughs> but so I was like, okay, how much money am I going to make each month? Okay, great. So I would uh, I would play with the numbers a little bit, and, and uh, my wife was sitting next to me watching the video. I was like, oh, Mariah, this is a terrible idea. We're going to be dirt poor. You know, be ready for at least two years of just uh, random, you know, noodles. Uh, poverty, poverty. And then I was like, oh, what if I do, I charge for maintenance, or I charge for upgrades, or I build a second product after four months. So I was like, whoa, this is really, you're looking really good. So, I mean, my numbers went from zero to 20 million, right? It was completely, completely useless. Uh, and they were so wrong. And then what happened later was completely uh, useless. But it helped me sort of think about, okay, even in the worst case scenario, do I still want to do this, right? Do I still have enough money saved up that I can survive for a year until even the, even the worst case scenario should start becoming, you know, going up a little bit. And so this was very useful for me to convince myself that it was okay. I showed this to a few friends that went to business school and they said, looks okay, your estimates are conservative. I was like, perfect, that's just what I want to do. Uh, and, so, and so that's my business plan. 